What's up guys, I'm Ross, your mattress expert from realmattressreviews.com. Today I'm here to finish up for you guys our comprehensive review of the Casper Wave. We slept on this mattress for about a week, so we've got a lot to talk about today. We're gonna talk about how it performed for us personally, and then we'll do some performance testing for you guys. We'll talk about how the mattress feels, and then ultimately, who might wanna consider trying the Casper Wave. First of all, we'll go ahead and get started by talking about the construction. All right guys, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna unzip this thing, and then for the construction, we're gonna take a look at how this thing is put together. It's five layers, but I wanna show you guys the contouring grooves and that polymer network that's in the center third of this. So we'll go ahead and get it opened up. And if I need to cut the fire barrier, I will do that too. All right guys, so we've got it opened up. This is a five layer mattress, as I mentioned. And what's unique about this is these contouring grooves. And then in here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's that polymer that runs through these grooves. That is gonna be kind of a rubbery, uh, more of a tough material that's gonna add more support in the center third of the mattress here where you're not gonna sink in you know, super easily like you will, where you'll want your shoulders to kind of contour in. On these areas, you wanna have more support in the center. So it starts off here with a flow foam. This is a very responsive foam, very soft to the touch. It's got a nice feel when you lay on it and it's very easy to move around on. The second layer is a latex foam. So you're gonna have a layer here with good bounce. It's gonna make it very easy to adjust positions. It's also, these two layers are gonna sleep very cool compared to having memory foam on top. So this third layer is a memory foam layer. This layer is going to provide additional body conformance and pressure relief. What I like here is that they have the memory foam buried underneath a couple layers so that you are going to not get as warm because these two layers aren't gonna trap heat as much as memory foam. And then underneath the memory foam, you have a poly foam layer, a very responsive foam. And in the middle here, you have that polymer network. So that is gonna provide really good, that's kind of hard to see, but it's a stiffer, kind of a rubbery material. And that is gonna provide extra support in the center third of the mattress where most of your body weight will be, you know, where your hips and your butt is on the mattress, which is gonna help the mattress um, last longer because most of the time when you get sag, it is in the center third. And it's also gonna provide very good lumbar support for your lower back. And then you have the base foam layer and where your shoulders would be. And they do this on both sides because it's recommended to spin your mattress every now and then. So what they have here is grooves. So these go all the way through. That will provide airflow, first of all. But the main thing is used to provide a little extra give. So when your shoulder is pushing into the mattress, you can see these flex a little bit easier than if this were a solid chunk of foam. So that's gonna give a little extra give on your shoulders for side sleepers, so you're not gonna have as much force pushing back up on your body, which is gonna provide just a little bit more comfortable sleep surface, especially for those of you that are sleeping on your sides for your shoulder. And then on top, you have a nice, thick, very durable cover. It's thick and durable, but yet still able to allow airflow. Uh, zips all the way off, so if you wanted to wash it, you certainly could do that as well. Uh, take a look at their washing instructions before you were to just do that. So that is the construction of the wave. So it's got a lot going on. It's designed with a lot of thought and research in mind and it's really designed to be more ergonomic and support your body where you need it more. Have a little extra give in areas where you need it more. All right guys, now that you have a good idea of how this thing is constructed, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna lay down, I'll just kind of talk about what I'm experiencing. So right away, you'll notice that that top flow foam is super soft and it feels very good. And then you hit that latex, it's gonna provide a little more supportiveness. And then as you work into the mattress, that uh, memory foam layer starts to react and provide good pressure relief. And with that Palmer grid and the grooves up here, you can definitely tell that it provides really good lumbar support. 
it's definitely firmer right here so you're not going to worry about you're not going to need to worry about bottoming out so this should work for most body weights as well but it really does work it does provide better support in my lumbar and a lot of times with you know some of the things in this industry I feel like they can be a little bit gimmicky. There can just be a lot of features that are more talk than actual performance, but this actually performs like they say it's going to. You can feel the support here in the center, and you can feel how it gives here in my shoulder when I'm side sleeping. So it's you know features they designed into the mattress that actually work. I would give this about a 6 out of 10 with 10 being the firmest. So it is in that sweet spot in terms of firmness level, so it will work really good in all three sleeping positions for you combination sleepers that are, you know, flipping it up between your side, back, and stomach. Um, in our performance testing, we didn't have any issues with um, not feeling support. It provides very good pressure relief here on my shoulder for side sleeping, and it's definitely firm enough when you're on your stomach as well. This is a mattress that is going to perform about the same for all body weights. Lighter people can sink into these top layers very easily. Heavier people will have the support here with the, the uh, polymer lumbar support. So overall, the feel and performance of the mattress is really nice. You sink into the mattress and have good conformance, but it's not overwhelming where you feel like you're sinking and sinking and then kind of feel like you're stuck. You have no stuck feeling at all on the mattress. So very responsive top layers, followed up by a memory foam layer that provides that extra um, pressure relief. All right, everyone, next up, we're gonna take a look at some performance testing. First of all, we'll take a look at foam response and bounce. I've already touched on this some, so I'll just do this briefly. When we push down on the foam, it's gonna have a very fast response time on those top two layers. The memory foam layer is a little bit slower, but being that you're on sleeping on those more responsive layers, it's very easy to move and adjust position. So this will also give you a sense of the bounce. Being that it has two inches of latex just one inch down, you're gonna have very good bounce and perhaps maybe even a little bit better here in the center. That's about the same. I thought maybe that polymer grid would make it a little bouncier, but about the same. So we'll throw this bottle up here. We'll look at motion transfer you should expect this to be very good being a foam mattress so you can see very little movement put my body on here so if you're used to a traditional inner spring this should be a vast improvement on that you won't feel your partner move around nearly as much as you will on an inner spring or even a hybrid so we'll look at edge support this has a very dense foam core. As I sit here, like you would expect, the top comfort layers are gonna sink in pretty easily on the edge. Um, but once you hit that foam core, it's pretty supportive here. I'd say, you know, it's a little above average for a foam mattress. I'm not so concerned about edge support sitting. I'm more concerned whether or not I get the roll out of the bed feeling. So even here on the extreme edge, I get a little bit of that feeling. But I'm normally not going to sleep like that. You'd usually give yourself a couple inches. And in this spot, I'm not getting that ejected feeling at all. So you are going to be able to utilize pretty much the entire sleep surface for sleeping. Um, if you have two people in a queen, that's really important. Uh, not as important on a, a king, but if you have two people in a full or a queen, you're going to want to be able to have the whole surface for sleeping which is not really a problem at all. So very responsive foam, makes it easy to move and adjust positions and it won't give you a stuck feeling like if this were all memory foam, you'll have a little bit more of a stuck feeling than you're gonna get with these responsive foams on top. Um, edge support is good where it needs to be for laying down and motion reduction. You're not gonna have any issues feeling your spouse or partner move around nearly as much as you would on in the inner spring. Alright guys, so the big question is, who should consider trying the Casper Wave? 
Well, first of all, you need to be somebody looking for an all foam feel. If you're used to and love an inner spring or a hybrid mattress, this probably won't transform you into a foam mattress lover, but the overall feel most people I think should like, and the firmness level is a firmness level that's gonna work for the vast majority of you out there. This is a very well performing mattress for lumbar support if you have issues with lower back pain. The shoulders have very good pressure relief with the grooves in the foam core, so side sleeping, it works very well. The mattress also sleeps very cool. I forgot to touch on that earlier. You're not gonna have any issues getting overheated with the flow foam and the latex being on top. The memory foam is typically what is going to trap heat more with these two layers of foam above the memory foam. You do not have any issues at all getting overheated on this mattress. I always recommend a cooling mattress protector or something like that too, to uh, protect it from stains and stuff like that. So that's always a good choice. So overall, I really think this could be a viable option for anybody looking for a foam mattress and a high performing foam mattress. As I mentioned, the design of this with the grooves and the polymer layer in the center, it really does perform, it really does work. You can feel the support in your lumbar, you can feel the give here in your shoulders. So I really like that aspect of this mattress too. It's not just a solid slab of foam. Uh, it has features that actual, actually work and perform well and help you sleep better. So if you have any questions at all, drop me a message below. Otherwise, head over to realmattressreviews.com. We have tons of other reviews as well as some exclusive coupons to help you guys save some money on these mattresses if you decide to give any of them a try. Also on the right hand side of the screen, there's a tab that says Mattress Concierge. Fill that out, maybe you're stuck between one or two options or you're starting from scratch and you're looking for some advice. I can send over an email with some suggestions that I think might work great for you. Otherwise, if you guys, <clears throat> otherwise, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if, if you like what you see here. We've got a lot of giveaways coming up too, so if you subscribe and maybe like us on Facebook, you'll be able to see those giveaways. Uh, we've got to give some of these mattresses away here at some point. We've got them piled up. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks, and have a great day.